You better start paying attention. America is at risk. The largest asset manager in the world, Larry Fink, is giving you hint after hint on where this system is going. I've been trying to teach you the game. As you look this way, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. We're going to look at three key factors today. Number one is Anthony Pompliano posting how bad Americans' debt is. Number two is we're going to follow this all week as BRICS is meeting today, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th around de-dollarization. And number three, we had Chris Larson donate another $10 million, or I think $11 million, to the Harris campaign, and Brad Garlinghouse responded. But I'm going to show you guys what I've been saying is it doesn't matter who wins this election in regards to cryptocurrency specifically. It matters in other factors, but crypto is here to stay. Let's dive right in. All right, the first thing we're going to take a look at is this post from Anthony Pompliano. I mean, Anthony Pompliano, sorry. I love his content. Great, great content out there. So if you don't follow him, hit him up. It took 220 years for the U.S. to create its first $12 trillion in national debt. 221 years to create America's $12 trillion in national debt. We added $12 trillion of debt in the last five years, okay? So think about this before I go into the next topic, which is BRICS. Your BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, we dominate all their currencies. When we raise interest rates, it affects them. When we lower interest rates, it affects them, okay? So when you see this type of stuff, would you be like, oh, yeah, we're just going to continue to let them bully us back and forth when they're not even managing their own pocketbook? They're on the verge of bankruptcy. Absolutely not. So that is the narrative that we're seeing right now. This is from this is from uh, BRICS uh, Twitter page. It says just in uh, Russian President Putin, UAE President Mohammed bin Zad Allah Nayan have been in talks in Moscow ahead of BRICS summits. Will the EU officially ditch the U.S. dollar for oil trade? This is massive. We know that the uh, petrodollar uh, deal ended. Okay. And then we'll listen to this young lady here. It says Russia to pursue BRICS allies and end the dollar dominance in the upcoming summit. Western sanctions Russia has been trying to persuade its allies to adopt an alternative to the dollar for international payments. At a BRICS uh, summit this week, Moscow is expected to try and convince a growing club of developing economy allies that it is immune from Western attempts to isolate it and call for other countries to join its attempt to overhaul the global financial system. Okay, so their goal is to overhaul the global financial system at the same time that we have the technology to overhaul the global financial system. Is it ironic? Is it by chance? I don't think so. What is BRICS pay? The payment system Russia is proposing. Okay. I would highly recommend you dive into BRICS pay. Okay. So they're looking at cross border payments. They're trying to create their own system so they can completely detach from the West. Putin hosts a summit to show the West it can't keep Russia off the global stage. Now, remember in 2022, as soon as Russia invaded Ukraine, the first thing Biden did was slap a bunch of sanctions on him. And then 2023, boom, or was it 2024? We're almost done with it. It was either 2023 or 2024. He slapped a bunch of sanctions on him. So the first topic we talked about was America's debt. We are bankrupt. Okay, now we got a bunch of countries working to de-dollarize. But there's good news at the end of this because you know the game. Okay, now this is everybody's in an uproar around this. I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter. If your investment decisions are based on Chris Larson's political views, you're going to get wrecked. Okay. But at the end, I'm going to show you, don't listen to me. Listen to the largest asset manager in the world. Check this out. Billionaire Ripple co-founder has given more than 11.8 million to Harris campaign. I don't give a shit. If he wants to vote for Harris, whatever. I'm... I'm I'm RFK. I like RFK. When RFK jumped on the Trump train and I would have voted for Trump, uh, you know, with RFK, I I'm more aligned with RFK. I like his belief system in God. I like how he openly talks about that. Um, it's just more in alignment with me. I'm a, I'm I run companies. I, I love building businesses. And so the right aligns with me a lot more. So if you're wondering my political views, there you go. What Chris Larson thinks about Kamala Harris is none of my effing business and has nothing to do with my investment portfolio. So if you think this is going to change cryptocurrency adoption, you're going to get wrecked. And if this stuff, 
whomever they think is best to leave the U.S. We need to immediately change course from administration's misguided war on crypto. Ripple will continue to engage with both Democrats and Republicans in the final days of the campaign and after the election to promote pro-crypto policies. It is not about party lines. It's about champion policies that drive blockchain. Guys, let me just, let's let Larry Fink answer this question. So the largest asset manager in the world, and I'm not touting Larry Fink. Who do you think controls the system? BlackRock was tapped by the Federal Reserve in 2008 to balance out the markets. By the Federal Reserve, BlackRock was tapped to balance the markets. In 2020, BlackRock was tapped to balance out the markets. BlackRock and Vanguard are the largest holders in HBO. HBO releases a documentary telling you who Satoshi Nakamoto is, humanizing it. And the guy who they said is the person is like, that's not me. They're trying to get you to look this way, guys. This is what he says. And this is what I've been saying as well. So he was just maybe watching my YouTube videos. Thank you, Matt. Big shout out. He's probably watching my videos and he, he agrees with me. I'm just kidding. The co-founder of the world's largest asset manager, he said the outcome of the looming U.S. election between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump really doesn't matter in the financial markets. I have to agree. And here is why. The system has to change. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's Trump or Harris. It will look different, absolutely. It is not going to stop blockchain development. It is not going to stop the advent of crypto. It is not going to stop the payment system switching. Money in the system is run by a whole different group of people. The president of the United States is not making the decisions on how the elite's money runs through the system. Jim Rohn said, you give a million dollars to every single person in society, it's going to end up in the same 1%'s hands. Guys, the game has always been the same. When you understand this is just a wave of energy and this is just a change in money and a change in technology and what goes up always always has to come down there's never been a country that's dominated forever there's never been a relationship that's perfect you've never seen a market go straight up everything goes in a wave of energy billionaires use astrology millionaires use charts jp morgan why do you think he said that there's an energetic frequency to the field christ said a man with a picture is coming welcome to aquarius in november it is quantum it is Web 3.0. It is moving from industrial to technical. And so if you take a deep breath and you understand what you're investing is in the new innovative technologies of the future, and you step back from all this bullshit political rhetoric, and you sit back and say, oh, okay, wow, this is like the 1900s. There's something massive happening. And I have an opportunity to invest in the new infrastructure of the new financial system. I'm going to diversify a little bit in these systems and processes. And what I do is when I get some profits in these bull runs, I'm not a fool. I pull money out of the system. I pull it from the left side of the risk pyramid. Crypto's at the top. High risk, high return, super speculative still for a while, for a while, which is exciting. But remember, you're the exit liquidity. Now we got the big dogs in there. We got the asset managers in there, and they are going to pull hard, and they're going to pull profits. So when this shit goes shooting up, I'm pulling profits on the way up. Boom, boom. I pull it down the risk pyramid. Boom, I stack it into tier one capital. I like index universal life. Some people use whole life. I like to insure my money. I max fund my policies. When those are max funded, we have the overflow of cash flow for my profits. Then I'm going to invest in more precious metals. And then when the markets crash down, I'm going to buy more Bitcoin. I'm going to hold 50% of my alternative coins forever. And then in the future, I'll leverage my cryptocurrency tax-free. I'll leverage the cash flow on my policies tax-free to buy more real estate, to buy more assets and keep the cash flow going. You have to understand what money is. It's just debt. So if you have a bunch of money sitting in your bank account, you got a bunch of debt sitting in your bank account. It's someone else's debt. Fiat money is Fugazi. It's fake. So if you have a bunch of money sitting in the bank, that's our grandparents' game. That's our parents' game. That game is dead. It's all debt. 
If you have $300,000 sitting in your bank account, that's someone else's debt. It's not doing anything. They're taking your $300,000, make, make money. Banks make money in three ways, interest income, fee income, and capital markets income. Your $300,000 is going to work. Not for you. They taught us to trade time for money so much time we don't have time to pay attention. You need to take that money, invest it to free up time. This is the most critical shift in our living history. You know, I'm 49. I'm going to be 49 in a couple months. I got about, what, 30, 40 years left on this earth, and I plan to live my best life. And I know I'll be sitting there in about 25 years rocking back and forth on my, on my ranch and saying, God, I'm so glad I didn't listen to the naysayers. I'm so glad I didn't listen to the bullshit. And I'm so glad I didn't caught, get caught on the left, get caught on the right, but I took the middle ground like Christ Jesus. And just like they mocked Jesus and they said, who do we give our taxes to? He said, who's on the coin? They said, Caesar. He said, give your taxes to Caesar, give to God what is his, and give to me what is mine. So I choose to give to God what is his, and I choose to walk with Christ Jesus. And it's all going to work out because we win in the end. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. Huge reminder, warning, I will never proactively DM you. I will never ask about your portfolio. That is not me messaging you. That is not me sending you videos. We never proactively DM people. We do not have a trading platform. We do not have an investment platform. Never send anybody money pretending to be me. What I created for you is resources so you know that you're speaking to us. In the description of this video or in my social media, click the link and in the link you will see a needs assessment. The needs assessment to be very clear. People message me all the time on how I ensure my wealth but it's about what your needs are. We can show you how to insure and protect and compound your money through insurance, but it's your needs. We'll do what's called the needs assessment. We can help you with retirement strategies. That's a completely free consultation. Absolutely free, okay? Then the other one, you'll see Coach JV's Academy. That's an education academy of like-minded people. Get into my 120-day challenge to get your shit together. Put those blinders on. I've helped over 8,700 people since 2020. Put their blinders on with education, my revolutionary 120 day challenge to get your shit together in the greatest shift in humanity. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Oh, big reminder as well. Huge reminder. Uh, we sold out Arizona. We opened up another theater. So fruition production. So our, our, you know, our family here, we sold out Arizona and then we opened up another theater in Arizona for the uh, XRP unleashed that sold out. So we sold out LA and then we just opened up 70 more seats in LA. I announced it last night. So it might be sold out, but if you want to get into the LA premiere, um, get in there now. So check my social media warriors. Ah, see you soon.